So if you watched one of my previous videos, I showed how high up the water table is in Michigan. And what I was doing was replacing the post for my mailbox. I've got it all the way, I've got about 42 inches of it sticking above ground and uh, what, 50 inches below ground. And it's just simply a, a 4x4 treated post. I can't remember how many years ago I installed it. But I got a lot of life out of it with the freeze-thaw cycle. It's down there fairly deep only because the ground shifts so much. So it's almost like putting a piling in a, uh, in a foundation uh, for a concrete floor on a building. It's a good idea around here with the water table being so high. But while changing out the post, my wife noticed that we have a cracked door on our mailbox. And it actually doesn't seal all the way. You've got to kind of give it a little extra shove there. So if the mail carrier just kind of gave it a little bit of a close like that, rain or snow could get inside. So we went shopping today for a replacement for the mailbox. So here you can see the post. This piece here, it's all dirty my shadow cast over it. It's how much was underground. You see right here where it rotted away. And here is the top where it was secured to the base of the mailbox. So, so this is what we ended up with. We found this at Home Depot. The, the section where they had mailboxes was fairly cleared out. We were looking for something that was affordable and plastic and hopefully made in America. It's textured in black. It says large capacity. It's got a five-year limited warranty and it's made in America. So I'm supporting other American jobs. Hopefully the people at this factory are buying cars made in America and supporting my job. So this was $30 and it was in stock at Home Depot, but their stock on mailboxes was somewhat limited. They had some, some overpriced uh, plastic mailboxes and uh, you know we, we didn't want to break the bank on, on, a, on a mailbox I mean $30 for this I think is a fair price even though I haven't even opened it they had a lot of uh, galvanized steel mailboxes that were either painted or, or powder coated but we didn't want a metal one because of uh, because of the winners here so let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what's in All right. the box Just simply cut the tape that is a much bigger mailbox than what we have Wow this might actually come in handy the mailman or mail carrier I should say to be politically correct might like us more for this because you could actually fit some packages that come USPS in this as opposed to having to get out of the truck and come to our front door so here are some plastic pieces and a sticker I'm sure I'll figure out what that is and it looks like the base should match up with what we have. It's got holes drilled in it, large and small. Should be able to attach it. And this is textured here so we can go ahead and attach our street number on either side. It's got the flag. And there's, uh, let's see, some instructions here on the back. How to mount it. It yeah, mounts the same. As far as those caps, that's for here, right here on the hinge. So the mailbox is installed. What I had to do was attach a 2x4 to the 4x4 post, just use some uh, treated 2x4 to make it wide enough. I simply attached it with 3 inch deck screws to make it wide enough so that I could attach it at 4 points instead of 2. I simply went through this clearance hole with a long apex bit on the end of a uh, drill and use 3 inch deck screws, number 10 3 inch deck screws. There's a plastic piece inside of here and these, these larger diameter holes give you clearance to get a bit in there. With 4 screws it won't rock back and forth. One really nice feature you might be able to see right here is this really large drip edge right here. That should help prevent the mail from getting wet when the carrier opens it on a snowy or rainy day. So this cap goes over the end of this hinge and this strange cap, I couldn't figure out what it was, is actually a flag. 
and in the Ziploc bag with the caps was a yellow sticker. I unfortunately lost the sticker, so I simply spray painted it orange, and when I open the box that brings it up, and from our front window, we should be able to see that the carrier has delivered mail that day. If it's down, then if I put it down after I come take the mail out, then it's not going to come back up again until the next time the mail carrier drops off some mail. So I simply just use some orange spray paint here. And next, we'll be attaching the three inch reflective numbers for our address. Unfortunately, these are made in China, but they were right there at the point of sale. We needed new ones. So that'll be going right along here. And there you have it, our new mailbox on our new post. Thanks for watching.